He is a tennis genius who once won four consecutive youth tennis championships in the United States and is known as the Prince of Tennis by the world. And she is a teenage tennis player, the youngest rising star in the female tennis industry, known for all the news on television and newspapers, but lost confidence and suffered a lot in a match. When he meets her, he will spark any fireworks, please look forward to it. Oh by the way, Ekazan, your racket, here it is for you, hmm. And what about mine? Give it to me, keywords of the novel. One Wang's lie on the prince of the civet cat no pop-ups, One Wang's lie on the prince of the civet cat txt complete collection download, One Wang's lie on the prince of the civet cat latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Yusuji Painted Civet. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 Yusuji Painted Civet Japan Yusuji Family A young girl was half lying on the sofa in her own home, with chestnut waist length curly hair scattered haphazardly in various corners of the sofa. Her dark green eyes, like those of a civet cat, looked very helpless as she stared at the TV playing across from her. Now there is a sports news broadcast. During the recent French Open, Yusuji Hattori, known as the youngest rising star in the female tennis industry, suddenly fainted in the middle of the final. Afterwards, the relevant team stated that Yusuji Hattori had decided to withdraw from the Open due to personal reasons and stop at the final. This news has caused many people to express regret, really. It's so noisy, the girl half lying on the sofa, before the TV was finished, cut off its words and impatiently turned off the news being broadcasted. My fair and delicate hands also covered my very helpless eyes. This young girl is the youngest female tennis star, named Yusuji Aiki, who is currently broadcasting a sermon on TV. She was originally a teenage tennis player and started practicing with her father at the age of five. At the age of 11, she underwent systematic training in the United States. At the age of 12, she participated in the German Open and ranked seventh, thus becoming the youngest female tennis star. But the good times didn't last long. In another open tournament, I was ambushed by an older French player named Ji Xiang on the board, which caused me to lose confidence. My right hand, which I used well, also contracted a mental illness. Every time I touched the tennis racket, I couldn't help but tremble. Tennis is her honor and belief. In order to calm down her own situation, Eri decided to go to Japan where her father used to live. She planned to forget this painful memory and also wanted to regain her composure. Ding lingling, ding lingling. Suddenly, a pleasant bell rang from the quiet living room. Yusuji Eri closed her eyes and took out her phone from a pile of scattered white paper next to her, answering the call. Who is it? Huali, I'm your father. You've been back to your home country for a while now and it's time to go to a new environment. Let's go report to the youth school tomorrow. The school uniform has already been sent to your mailbox at home and remember to pick it up. Also, remember to protect yourself when you're alone at home. Remember to call your father if you have anything to do. The voice of Yusuji Kawa came from the other end of the phone, giving a hint of warmth to the already listless Ari. Got it. Father, Hueli listened to his father on the other end of the phone nagging a few more words before interrupting the conversation. Hueli slowly stood up and walked towards the door, opened his mailbox in front of his house, and took out a well-packaged package. I saw a few words written on it, Yusuji painted civet harvest. Hueli opened the package and took out two sets of white and green sailor suits. I think this is the school uniform of the youth academy, said Hueli, who was low and light. Puff, it's really funny, Ailey looked at it and smiled faintly. Later, Yusuji Eri brought his school uniform into the room and looked at the time. It was almost dinner time, and it was time to go out and find something to fill his stomach. If his family was not at home and there was no food, he had to go out and buy some. I don't know if it's a long-term habit, but before leaving, I also carried my blue and white tennis bag on my back and couldn't help but sigh, oh, I promised not to touch it, but why did I still bring you along? Huali was wearing a blue and white sportswear sailor suit, 
with chestnut long curly hair draped over his back and a tennis bag with his name written on it on his back. He walked down the street searching for food, but after walking for a long time and a long distance, he finally walked to the street tennis court. Not far away, Ailey saw two people playing tennis, and it was also doubles. One of the tall ones looks very strong, with short black hair, a slender and symmetrical figure, wearing a yellow round neck shirt, and looks very honest, but playing basketball is also a bit too aggressive. The other one, with a visual acuity of around 160, has dark green hair, amber pupils, and wears an R. Shaped duckbill cap, with a hint of hostility in his eyes. It seems to be encountering difficulties, Ailey unconsciously walked over to watch. It is the responsibility of the players in the second half to change their own half accordingly. The boy with a yellow round neck shirt was turning his head and talking to his other companion in the second half. By the way, Senior Tao Cheng, the dividing line for doubles is here, isn't it? The boy wearing the letter, R, pointed to the dividing line inside the stadium with his red racket and asked. What's wrong, Ekizen? Tao Ching questioned the boy's words I'm not used to it, because it's my first time. Ekizen scratched his head uncomfortable. First time. It's impossible, isn't it? Tao Ching looked at Ekizen incredulously, afraid that he had just heard wrong and not the truth. Do I look like someone with doubles experience? It can be seen that Ekizen is almost exhausted by the rules of doubles. Puff, you two are so interesting. Hueli looked at the doubles novice chatting on the field and couldn't help but interrupt their communication, laughing. Hmm. In an instant, two gazes were cast onto Ailey. Ekizen and Taoqing looked at the young girl outside the field who was not close or far from them, and couldn't help but inquire. One frowned and the other was very excited. Oh, she's a beautiful woman. Who are you? Me. I accidentally passed by, but kindly remind you that you too will lose sooner or later in such a fight. Hueli replied with a smile and casually pointed his hand at the opponent opposite him, these two people are a bit difficult for you now. Upon hearing this, Ekizen narrowed his eyes and then stared at his opponent, remaining silent. If we talk about singles, neither of them is a forward opponent, but in doubles, they are likely to lose every minute. Hey, the girl across from you, it seems like you're very experienced. Why don't you come up and fight us? Huali frowned and looked up at the young man in a white shirt who said these words. No, I don't know how to play. Faced with the provocation sent to him, Huali shook his head and refused. If it were in the past, she would have agreed without hesitation, but now it is different from the past. Huali lowered his head and looked at his right hand, unsure when it would heal. After speaking, he decided to turn around and leave. Seeing that Huali did not agree, the young man had no choice but to give up, after all, the other party was a 150 tall little lowly, and it was not good to bully people. In no time, the sound of hitting the ball came from behind, with a huge spin. After a strong spin on the ground, the serve that bounced towards the opponent's face was caught in the eyes of Huali. External spin serve. Ailey stared at the boy named Ekizen and couldn't help but take a few more glances. This young man is really not easy. At most, I can play a topspin serve because the difficulty of an topspin serve is very high. Generally, few people in the professional field can play it well, and even some adults don't know how to do it. And this young man named Ekizen is so powerful, exclaimed Ailey, Japan is really a place where tigers and dragons lie hidden. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Female Rising Stars in the Tennis Industry You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Female Rising Stars in the Tennis Industry Leaving the Street Tennis Court, Ailey finished shopping and strolled on the moonlit road and bridge. I really want to play tennis. I don't know if I was infected by the atmosphere at the street tennis court just now. Hueli couldn't help but want to hold his racket and play his favorite tennis. Thinking about it, I just did it. Slowly walked to a sparsely populated and spacious venue Hueli placed the food he had purchased on the ground, 
placed the blue and white tennis bag on his back next door, and then opened the tennis bag to take out the blue tennis racket and a tennis ball. Get up and walk a few meters away from the wall, slowly turn around and stand in front of it. Grasp the tennis racket slightly with your left hand, take a deep breath, pick up the tennis ball with your right hand, spin it slightly, and then throw it high. A top spin serve was sent from her hand, hitting straight into the center of the wall. Not far away, there came a proud and humble voice. There's still a long way to go. The young man wearing a red and white shirt, an R hat, and a red tennis bag, holding a grape-flavored Fanta in his hand, was staring at the young girl playing ball, smiling rather than smiling. Next to him stood another tall boy with a yellow shirt and a black tennis bag on his back. Hmm aren't these the two people from the street tennis court just now? The painted fox is full of questions. Turning around to look at those two teenagers, why are you two here? I just finished playing and was about to go back. I happened to meet you, beautiful woman. Tauching greeted Huali with a silly smile. Your serve is pretty good, but it's still a long way off. Ekizen took a sip of Fanta and looked leisurely at the girl across from him. Huali frowned I don't know how much they saw, and this young man named Yu Qian seems a bit arrogant. Your spin serve is also good. Huali finished speaking, put away the racket, prepared to put away things and leave the field. I originally thought I could play for a while longer, but now that someone has arrived, it's better to forget about it. Hey hey hey, beautiful woman, why don't you stop fighting? Upon seeing this, Tao Ching inexplicably felt strange. This girl shouldn't have been fighting for long, why did she pack up and leave so quickly? No, it's too late. After finishing packing up, Huili picked up his tennis bag, picked up his shopping bag, and walked forward with his feet. As he passed by Ekazan, Huili couldn't help but turn his head to look at Ekazan, who was about a head taller than him. And Ekazan also glanced at the name written on her tennis bag and exhaled leisurely. Yusuji painted fox. Huali was suddenly stopped by Ekazan beside him and couldn't help but stop his steps. How do you know my name? Yu Qian smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, raising his resolute chin, and his tone remained so proud and coquettish, your tennis bag is written. Upon hearing this, Huili glanced back at his tennis bag and found that it was indeed the case. Okay. Huili stared at Yu Qian beside him, paused, and continued walking forward. I'm leaving. When the young girl disappeared in front of Ekazan, the boy beside him couldn't help but exclaim in surprise, whether it was a slow reaction or a momentary daze. Ah. I remember that girl. She seems to be the youngest female tennis star, Yusuji Eri. Tauching suddenly realized and knocked his head in surprise. Tauching Sr., you're too slow, right? Yu Qian sighed and felt very helpless as he faced the slow reacting senior beside him. Ekazan, how many times have you said it, call me Ah Tao. But how could she be here? Tao Ching is full of questions, how could this tennis superstar who is about to enter the professional tennis world appear in Japan? And still playing basketball on the street. Ah, uh, okay, but senior Tao, why don't you go back and check out the morning sports news? Yu Qian shook his head and slowly left, leaving Tao Ching in place to ponder. Hey hey. Wait for me, Yu Qian. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Youth Studies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Youth Studies The next day the sky is very blue, but the sun is very poisonous. Huali got up from her sleep, and after washing up, she put on the white shirt and green short skirt of a sailor's skirt. Hueli looked at herself in the mirror wearing a red and green sailor skirt, feeling inexplicably uneasy. I don't know which genius designed this combination. Putting on his shoes, Ailey looked at the tennis bag hanging by the door. After a series of internal struggles, he still carried it on his back and finally walked out of the door. Upon arriving at school, Ely walked towards the academic affairs office to report. Due to her own beauty, many young boys and girls discussed Ely along the way. 
Hey, there's a beautiful girl coming to our school. Look, she seems to be playing tennis. Oh my goodness, such a lovely girl, I don't know which class she is from. Dot. After arriving at the academic affairs office, Ely was taken to the classroom by her own class teacher and informed that all the school materials had been processed and she could stay at the youth school for classes with peace of mind. Before approaching the classroom, the teacher wearing glasses glanced at Huali and sighed, I've heard about you, don't lose heart. When you come to Qingxue, work hard. Qingxue's tennis team is also a top-tier team. Upon hearing this, Huili nodded. When they arrived at the classroom, the teacher wearing glasses asked Huili to introduce herself. Huali slowly walked towards the podium and took a breath, then said to the student who was about to become his classmate below, Hello, my name is Yusuji Ailey. Wow, isn't she the rising star in the tennis industry? Oh my goodness, you look so cute. Hey hey, have you heard? It seems that there was an accident during the last French Open, and Yusuji only withdrew. Didn't she announce her withdrawal from the competition only after she fainted during the competition? Dot. More and more noisy discussions came from the audience, reaching Hueli's ears. She gradually lowered her head, her lips tightly clasped together, and her hands tightly grasped her tennis bag behind her back. Little did she know that her palms were already covered in sweat, and her face gradually turned pale. Have you said enough? Suddenly, a familiar voice came from below, interrupting the noise. Hueli looked towards the sound source and saw a young man with dark green hair frowning. He woke up from his sleeping dream lying on the stage and slowly opened his amber-colored pupils, as if disturbing his rest. He angrily scolded and then closed again. Isn't that person? Ekizen. Hueli blinked. Originally, Yue Qian was from a youth school and also in the same class as himself. So, isn't Tao Ching also from a youth school? All right, everyone be quiet. Yusuji came to Qingxue to study, not to discuss. The teacher wearing glasses solemnly stroked his eyes. Let's go sit next door to Ekizen for now, it's the one with dark green hair. Hueli nodded and walked down from the podium to Ekizen's side. With his eyes fixed on the sleeping boy lying on the podium, he sat cautiously beside him. That. Thank you. Although Ailey didn't know if he was really asleep or just closed his eyes to rest, he still expressed gratitude for his help just now. Mmm, -hmm, turns out he didn't sleep who Ailey heard his soft response and looked at him again. Smile lightly. Puff. This person is really interesting. I don't know if it was because he heard the laughter of the girl beside him that the lying boy opened his amber pupils again, and the corner of his mouth also raised a bit. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Youth Tennis Society You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Youth Tennis Society In the blink of an eye, the class at the youth school was over, and the neighbor Yu Qian didn't know when to start and leave. And suddenly in front of him came a girl with long wine red hair, two slender fried dough twists on both sides of the shoulder. She smiled at Hueli and took the initiative to approach her. Hello, I am Sakura Ryazaki, the labor committee member of the class. Hello. I am Yusuji Eri. Ailey looked at Ryazaki Sakura, with a well-behaved and charming appearance, and felt that she was a well-behaved and well-behaved woman who should be easy to get along with. Can I call you Ailijiang? You can also call me Sakura. Ryazaki Sakura asked Ailijiang, of course, Ailey nodded, indicating acceptance. So, has Hualijiang figured out which club she wants to join? Club. Ailey was surprised when he heard this. This school used to have clubs, but when he was in the United States, he didn't know what other clubs the school had besides training. Yes, it's a club. I saw Hui Lijiang carrying a tennis bag. Are you also a tennis player? Ryazaki Sakura pointed to the tennis bag beside me, MMM, the painted fox softly chanted later, Ryazaki Sakurai introduced her to various clubs in this youth school, and also brought the registration form to Eri for her to fill out. 
Hueli looked at the women's tennis section on the paper and hesitated for a moment. After sighing, she still didn't take action and handed over a blank piece of paper to Longchi. Seeing Longchi handing him a white paper, he couldn't help but wonder, isn't Ai Lijiang playing tennis? Why not sign up for the women's tennis club? Hu Lijiang, why don't you sign up for the tennis club? Silence Longchi's words fell for a long time, but Ailey never took them. After a long time, Longchi couldn't help but speak when he saw that Huali had not spoken for a long time. Hmm, if it's because I'm not familiar with it, then I'll take you to see our boys tennis club at Qingxue, Longma Jun's club. Longma. Yes, Ekizen Ryoma, it's your desk mate. Riyazaki didn't say much and took Iri's hand as he walked towards the tennis department. Is Ekizen Ryoma? Hueli murmured silently in her heart. What kind of person is this young man? After a while, he arrived at the tennis club of the junior high school. He couldn't help but stare at the sweaty players on the tennis court, the various types of ball paths, various postures, and the players who had to run circles and pick up balls everywhere. How long has it been since the French competition? Hueli couldn't help but think in a day's Sakura. Four young girls ran from afar and headed towards Longchi next to Ailey. Riyazaki Sakurai warmly greeted the three of them, pulled Ari over, and then introduced him. This is Tomoka Kosaka, and these three are Horiwo, Katsura, and Katsura. They are all members of the youth school cheerleading team and, like us, are in first grade. Huali looked at the four of them, and at the same time, the four of them couldn't help but look at Huali. That guy named Horawai is looking at Iri, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. Eri smiled slightly and greeted them, yes, my name is Yusuji Eri. Ah. I've heard of you before, you're the one. Wait a minute, let's talk. Hori's not finished yet however, Ailey's gaze was drawn to the young school players wearing blue and white school uniforms, and he forcefully cut off what Horiuchi wanted to say behind him, running to the field closer to the group of young school players. At first glance, there were a boy with a serious face tied in a headscarf, occasionally making a hissing sound. He had red hair and a white bandage on his face, looking like a cat. There were also boys with white framed glasses, holding a notebook that he didn't know what to write about. There were also boys with brown hair, squinting his eyes and smiling. There were even boys who suddenly ran away with a racket and spoke a bunch of big truths seriously. One of them was tall and thin, with brown hair, and a pair of golden-rimmed glasses on his nose. He looked polite, which made Ailey couldn't help but see more. Eyes. Hmm. Hueli looked back and found that there are two more people behind the seven of them, namely the young man I met last night, Ekizen and Taocheng. Looking around, only two people were recognized. However, they are all very handsome, which is something that Ailey has to admit. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Competition You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Competition, They should be official team members, right, guest Huali, Hualijiang, you're running too fast. Yusuji Aiko, wait. Dot. Behind me came the voices of five people from Longchi. I saw five of them standing next to Ailey panting. These shouts attracted the attention of several team members heading towards the stadium. Hey, isn't Yuechen the Huali girl? Taoqing was attracted by the sound and turned to say to Yuechen next door. Yuechen looked at Huali, who was not far from him, and was scrutinizing the seniors, mmm hmm. Ah Tao, is that Yusuji Eri you're talking about the rising star in the women's tennis industry? The boy wearing white framed glasses and holding a notebook couldn't help but ask questions. Yeah, yes, Senior Qian, we met her at the street tennis court last night. Tao Ching quickly nodded in agreement. In this way, it's quite interesting, the young man named Qian helped himself with his eyes and then lowered his head to write some data in his notebook. All right. It's time for training. The official team members will gather at A.B. Stadium, while the rest of the team will run 50 laps and pick up the ball in the first grade. 
The young man with golden-rimmed eyes in the middle who looked polite interrupted their conversation. Yes. Minister, minister. Hueli listened to their conversation and silently recorded it in his heart. In the blink of an eye, the players on the tennis court began to get busy, with groups running in circles and others picking up balls everywhere. Oh, Ai Li Jiang, do you feel very shocked when you see this scene? Longqi said beside Ai Li Jiang. Hueli nodded, Yusuji, do you want to play tennis? I'll take you inside. I'm Hori Oi, who has been playing tennis for two years. Let me show you my strength. Hori Oi shook himself up and raised his head, showing off as he entered the tennis court with Eri and others. Seeing this, Eri shook his head helplessly, followed Horui into the tennis court, and silently roast from the bottom of his heart. Having two years of tennis experience does not necessarily mean strength. In addition to the players wearing blue and white jerseys, there are also some newcomers practicing swing on the tennis court. Come here, come here, give you a racket, Horowai took out his black and white racket and handed it to Eri, picking up a tennis ball himself. Hey Yusuji, let me show you my serve from Horioi, who has been playing tennis for two years. As he finished speaking, Horowai held a racket in his hand and lifted the tennis ball into the air, aiming it at the ball and preparing to serve. Ailey looked at Horowai's playing posture and serving, not only laughing but also laughing this is not called serving, it's clearly playing acrobatics. As expected, Hori's serve perfectly hit the player holding a pile of balls. The player who was hit by the ball lost their balance and stumbled into the basket filled with tennis balls. In an instant, all the balls that were originally lying in the frame fell to the ground, affecting the team members on the field either by falling or being hit. Hori Wei trembled like a sieve when he saw this scene, it's all over now. Not far away, a loud shout shouted at Ailey, be careful, girl. It seems like the voice of Tao Ching. Looking up, I saw a tennis ball flying towards me at full speed, accompanied by a very powerful force, hitting me. Hueli squinted her eyes and lifted her left tennis racket. Touch, with Hua Li's swing, the ball was perfectly hit into the frame of the official team member who was training to serve not far away. In an instant, the whole field fell silent, and the official team members stopped their training and looked towards Ailey. Ah Tao, how much force did you use on that ball just now? The boy with brown hair and squinting eyes asked Tao Ching, who had just served. 70%. As the words fell, everyone present couldn't help but look at the young girl who was hitting the ball again. Tao Ching is a player mainly based on strength, and even regular players find it difficult to receive a 70% strength ball in this situation. Hiss, it looks very interesting. Do you think so, Tezuka? Dashi Dashi, that girl is really amazing. There's still a long way to go. This familiar feeling makes it difficult to have a good fight. Hueli's heart was filled with excitement. She hadn't hit such a serve like this in a long time. She wanted to play a game. Huali took a breath and slowly walked towards the official team members of the youth school Ailey looked up at the various senior students in front of him. Can the senior students accompany me to play a game? His gaze occasionally wandered around the young minister, Kawakami, intending to seek advice. I saw Yue Qian slowly pulling the corners of his mouth and lifting it up towards me. Hualina leaned his head in frustration. All right, Huali girl, I'll play with you, Tao Ching jumped out first, responded to Huali's words, and walked into the stadium Huali looked at the faces of the senior students around him, as if he didn't object, but he didn't seem to agree either. He shrugged his shoulders and followed along. Thank you, senior. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Transformation Ball You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Transformation Ball, I heard you're pretty good at tennis, said Tao Ching, holding a racket and standing across from him, raising his eyebrows at Huali. Huali wondered, it seems like she has been back in China for less than a few weeks. Hmm. Who did the senior listen to? TV. Dot. Hua Limo, I don't intend to pay attention. 
Cao-Ching's eyes flickered, and he clenched one hand into a fist and coughed twice. Cough, cough, oh, this is not important. Hurry up and compete, he said then he said to a young man standing outside, So, Senior Dashi, could you please be the referee? Dashi looked at Huali and then at Tao-Ching, then nodded and climbed onto the referee's bench. In the first game, Eri serves first. Huali took a deep breath, held the tennis ball in his right hand and spun it around. He threw it up and a serve was sent out of his hand. Oh, that's good. From the beginning, it's a topspin serve. You're also good, senior. You can catch it, said Ely as she watched her serve easily hit back, her heart racing towards the tennis ball becoming stronger and stronger. This is the first time that Ailey has competed with Tao Cheng, and the face dot to dot face feeling was influenced by his super strong jumping ability and balance, which is still slightly different from what he saw last night. However, during the two matches against her, the senior students around her were not idle either. A young man with red hair and white bandages on his face, resembling a cat, was hanging on Ekazan's body, Xiao Bu Jian Xiao Bu Jian, this girl is really amazing, it makes me want to have a fight with her too. It's very heavy, Senior Kikumaru. Ekazan sighed slightly at the sudden weight he was bearing on his body, and then frowned as he watched Irie hitting the ball on the field, muttering softly, she shouldn't be left dot handed. So you also noticed, Ekazan. Standing next door, a handsome young man with brown hair, Ben's squinted eyes opened at some point, revealing a pair of blue pupils. Yu Qian looked up and raised his eyebrows, yes, no two senior students. Hey, what are you talking about, no two, no one? Kikumaru listened to the conversation between the two, and I was confused by each word you said. Ing Air, continue watching the game, Bu Air shook his head, 3.2, with Yusuji leading, said Daisher, bringing Kikumaru's thoughts back to the field. On the field, Ailey couldn't help but Sai Tauching's strength is really great. He kills all the balls towards his face. If it weren't for her quick reflexes and timely avoidance, he would have been hit long ago. However, in these short three-game matches, Ailey had already figured out the way Tauching played. Tauching, who is good at moving left and right, likes to play a kill ball the most. If he only needs to play a high lob, it will be difficult for him to use the kill ball to return. The Tauching opposite gave a thumbs up, amazing, Miss Huali, how could you break my kill ball? Blinking at me again, so what about this move? Tauching then used his own strength to quickly hit the high hanging ball that Huali had hit. This ball. Huali suddenly lifted his head and left the hitting area, facing the powerful ball coming towards him with his back. He held the racket in his left hand and caught the tennis ball with his backhand, spinning around in his own hand like a trajectory. Then he waved back and the ball flew towards Tao Ching as if it had not touched the racket. Suddenly, the tennis ball caught Tao Ching's eye like a butterfly, flying to the left and then to the right, making it hard to touch. Finally fell within the boundary. In an instant, the venue fell silent Tao Ching couldn't help but stare blankly at the butterfly-like ball. And off the field, Ekazan somehow lowered his hat. 4.2, Yusuji leads, said Daisher, breaking the silence on the field. This is the ball of change. Qian, who was taking notes on the side, stopped his work and lifted the frame of the mirror with his hand. Ah Qian, what is the transformation ball? Kikumaru beside him asked Qian a question, the so dot called change ball refers to using the force in the opponent's ball belt to generate and borrow force, and spinning in the hand. Due to the ball's very fast speed, combined with clever techniques to borrow force, the ball seems to have many different shapes. As the server uses a few percent of force to send the ball, the ball itself has an irregular trajectory, which will land in different places. The dry explanation made the players on the field take a deep breath, which means that the ball changes with Tauching's serve, each time producing a different trajectory and landing in different areas. Unless Tauching can use the same force and speed every time, it is difficult to predict the path of the ball. What do you think of Yusuji, Tezuka? Buji said to the indifferent Tezuka beside him. Disrupting the order of the court, 
running 100 laps regardless of whether they are members of the tennis club, then turned around and left. Buji shook his head and chuckled as he watched Tezuka's figure gradually recede. It's really dishonest, Tezuka. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Tennis Manager, 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Tennis Manager, 1 Tauching regained his composure and waved his hand, No more fighting, no more fighting, Sister Huali, you are really amazing. Then he walked out of the arena. Ah! Huali wondered, this is not just hitting the climax, why suddenly stopped fighting? With a puzzled expression on his face, Eri glanced at the corner of his mouth and then left the field, handing his racket to Horowai outside. Oh my goodness, Yusuji, you're really amazing. Faced with Horioi's praise, Eri didn't intend to pay attention. All right, Minister Tezuka said, all members, whether or not they are members of the tennis club, run 100 laps. As soon as the words came to an end, a mournful cry spread throughout the tennis court. No, I just ran 50 laps. I just want to cry without tears. If I fall so badly, I'll be punished for running circles. Dot. Hua Li was taken aback by the meaning of these words then he pointed at Bu Er and pointed at himself, do I also want to? Bu Er squinted his eyes and smiled at Hua Li, of course. Upon receiving a response, A Li didn't take it seriously, after all, it was his own stubbornness that led the way. Just run and run. After thinking for a moment, Hueli also followed the footsteps of the large army and started running. I ran for a while, hmm. When did Ekizen run to his next door? Hueli couldn't help but wonder, this guy is really out of nowhere. You're not left dot handed, are you, said Ekizen in a low voice beside him, you. Ailey looked at Ekizen beside him in surprise, how do you know? Even though you're not left dot handed, you still have to use your left hand to play the ball. Don't you know that your return posture is a bit strange? Ailey stared at Ekizen in front of him and saw his figure in his clear and transparent amber eyes. Looking at each other, I realized that the two were very close. Suddenly, Ailey felt a bit heavy in his breath, and his cheek seemed to turn slightly red due to the distance between the two. He turned his head and didn't turn his head to look at him. No you don't have to worry about it. Ekizen saw her face turn away, but he didn't look at her anymore. If there's a chance, let's have a fight with your right hand, he said, no, I. You will agree, let's go. Before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Ekizen. What does that sentence mean? As he stared at the figure that had already run away from him, Ailey couldn't help but wonder. What does this sentence mean? What does it mean that I will agree? After a while, she shook her head and ignored continuing to run in her circle. Hueli looked at the atmosphere of the youth tennis department running circles and suddenly felt that these boys were really pretty good. These 100 laps have finally been completed, and it took quite a long time this time. Hueli thought to himself and sat on a stool near the stadium, wiping the sweat off his forehead with his hands. I saw a young man slowly walking towards me with a notebook and white-rimmed glasses, waving at me, hmm. Hello, has a crisp and sharp voice like a robot. May I ask if you have anything to do? He pushed his glasses on the bridge of his nose and suddenly smiled, saying, it's like this. My name is Qian Jinji and today I gathered good information about your match with Tao Ching. I wonder if you're interested in joining our tennis club. Youth Boys Tennis Club. He nodded. I'm a girl, said Hua Li, crying and laughing at the words, sorry, I'm a bit impolite. Our tennis club is currently lacking a manager, and I hope you can consider it. Hua Li Amo, after a while, let me think about it again. After speaking, he stood up and left Qian Jinji looked at my departing figure and shouted, I hope you consider it carefully. Our tennis club offers good treatment and can provide you with free practice as a companion. Puff. Hueli couldn't help but laugh and cry when he heard it. This senior named Qian Zensi is really interesting. After walking for less than a while, I heard Long Chi's shout coming from behind. 
Ailey saw us. Ailey turned around and saw Longchi running towards him. Why is it so urgent? Longchi ran over to Ailey and lowered his head to support his waist, gasping for breath. Then he said, Ailey saw us, my grandmother called you over. Hm Longchi's grandmother. Your grandmother, asked to Ailey, wondering, yeah, my grandmother is a coach for the tennis team. She asked me to tell you to go to the coach's office. Hueli was puzzled and never thought that the coach from Longchi would suddenly come to her. She nodded and gestured to Longchi, and under her advice, she started walking towards the coach's office. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Tennis Manager, 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Tennis Manager, 2 at this time, in the coach's office the match just now had already caught the eye of the coach who always liked to wear a rose-colored sportswear and high ponytails. Tezuka, what do you think of that child? Coach Riyazaki looked up at the young minister standing next to him. In the middle of the game, Tezuka went alone to the coach's office to find Coach Riyazaki. From hitting and serving, it can be seen that this child's experience is higher than some of our team members' level. Do you know the story of this child? Coach Longchi sighed and continued speaking, The father of this child and the father of Ekazan were raised by me. Both of them are excellent professional tennis players, and their children have inherited their bloodline. However, that child had some accidents and encountered a bottleneck in the recent French Open, and was a bit afraid of tennis. Sigh, what a good child. Coach Riyazaki said more and more, feeling more regretful. After listening to the coach's words, Tezuka also fell silent for a while. Dong dong dong. There was a knock on the door in the quiet room, sorry, I'll talk to Coach Longchi. Then a tender and sweet female voice came from outside the door, and the door slowly pushed open. Huali slowly pushed open the door and saw a tall and thin young man with brown hair and a pair of gold-rimmed glasses on his nose bridge, as well as a middle-aged woman in a rose-colored sportswear and a high ponytail in front of him. Isn't that person the minister? So the person next door should be Coach Riyazaki, whispered Ailey in a low voice when Eri entered the office, Coach Riyazaki looked up and down and said, Are you Yusuji Eri? Ailey nodded and walked towards her also smiling at the minister next to Coach Longchi. Coach Riyazaki stood up from his chair and reached out his hand to Eri, Hello, I'm Coach Riyazaki from the tennis team. Well, I know you. I heard Sakura say about you. You can call me Ailey. So, Eri, do you know what the purpose is for me to come to you this time? Coach Longchi's words made Eri feel uneasy she pondered and slowly spat out, Is it the tennis manager's business? Coach Riyazaki was surprised when he heard this, but quickly regained his composure. Yes, what do you think? To be honest, not long ago a senior named Xian Zhenji also approached me and asked if I wanted to become the manager of a tennis club, but... Coach, actually. I know, Coach Riyazaki said, which made Eri, who was just about to say that he couldn't handle this position, unable to resist. I know your situation, you can try to break through from this position and give it a try. If it doesn't work out, I won't force you anymore. Upon hearing this, Huili lowered his head and clenched his fist involuntarily. What's wrong with my current self? Why am I already content with the status quo and not striving for progress? I have become so cowardly and timid that I dare not move forward. Is this the life I want? Give it a try. Yusuji, male voice came from beside him, and suddenly he felt a bit heavy on his shoulders. Huali looked up and saw the minister in front of him placing his hand on his shoulder, as if boosting himself, slowly spitting out these words. Huali blinked and gradually relaxed his tightly clenched fist, nodding. Turning his head, he said to Coach Longchi, I am willing to be the manager of the tennis club. After hearing my answer, Coach Riyazaki smiled with relief and said, See you at the tennis court after school this afternoon. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Training Competition You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Training Competition In the blink of an eye, 
it was time for school to end in the afternoon. Just as Ailey was about to pick up his tennis bag and leave, he was frightened by the sound beside him. Are you going to the tennis court? Ekison's voice shook Airy. Yes. Yes. Huali was clearly frightened by his sudden words, and the two dull hairs on his head flickered, while his dark green civet-like eyes appeared extremely panicked as if frightened. Ekizen glanced at the frightened alien said, Oh, it's really like Carabin. Let's go, let's go together. Yu Qian picked up Hua Li's tennis bag with one hand and walked towards the door with the other hand carrying his own bag. What are you still waiting for? Why don't you leave quickly? Ah, uh, oh. Oh good. Hueli regained consciousness and saw that Yu Qian had already walked out of the classroom with his tennis bag. Hey, wait for me. When Hueli followed Ekizen to the tennis court, all the players had already stood on the field. Following Ekizen to the field, watching his every move, he put down himself and his bag, took out his racket, took off his jacket, and changed into team uniform, then walked towards the team. Huali always feels a little hot on her cheeks as she looks at everything in front of her. This person is really, blatantly changing clothes in front of him, but. When he changed into a blue and white team uniform, Ailey accidentally caught a glimpse of his figure. Hmm, you have a great figure. Hueli unconsciously reached out her hands to support her cheeks. Really, it seems like a pervert. After calming down, I saw Coach Riyazaki greeting me. Hueli walked towards her. Coach Riyazaki's energetic voice echoed on the field, and in no time, hundreds of players had already stood on the field. The first row consists of formal players wearing blue and white jerseys. So, let me introduce you, this is the manager of our tennis club, Yusuji Eri. Coach Riyazaki brought Eri to them and introduced him to a group of young boys. So she will move forward and backward with you in the days to come. Hello, my name is Yusuji Eri, you can call me Eri. As soon as Coach Eri and Riyazaki finished speaking, they heard the official team members discussing behind them. It's really fake, she seems to be in first grade. Isn't she the female tennis player who lost at the French Open? How could she be here? I remember what you said. She seems to be the girl who fought against Tauching yesterday. Dot. As Hua Li listened to each of their words, he felt very uncomfortable in his heart. The smile on his lips gradually disappeared, and the two silly hairs on his head seemed to feel the owner's mood, falling down like withered grass. He looked like a lifeless civet cat. Are you too idle? Suddenly, he frowned and uttered a cold word from his mouth. A few seconds later, except for the official team members, all the team members are not making any noise. Hueli looked at Ekizen in front of him and muttered to himself. He helped me again, well, if you have any objections, you'll know by playing a training match. If Ely wins against one of the regular team members, it proves that she has this ability. She pointed to everyone present. Then he said to Hueli, what's up, do you agree with Hueli? Huali bit her lower lip and nodded, okay. Coach Riyazaki then looked at the others and said, do you all agree? Qian Junji said, I have no problem. I can still collect data. Kikumaru Eiji said, I don't have a problem either. As long as that Kawai Iri sister has the strength, it's okay. Well, I agree. With the official team member's answer, the others gradually agreed with a creaking voice. So, Haitang Sun, you can have a training match with Ailey. Coach Longchi said, pointing to a young man wearing a green headband in the team. Is he Haitang Sun? Hua Li turned his head to inquire. Hai Tang smoked her lips and let out a hiss, as she slowly walked out, her gaze becoming less serious as she looked at Hua Li. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Right Hand You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Right Hand, so, now the competition starts. Coach Riyazaki served as a referee and sat on the bench, gathering a large crowd both on and off the field for a while. 
The first game is served by Ailey Hueli still sent out the serve from the last game against Taoqing to test the opponent's strength. That ball should be able to return. As expected, Huali guessed correctly. The team members of Qingxue were really hiding their strengths and weaknesses, hiding their secrets. Their top spin serve was quickly returned by Haitang Sun. Through simple back and forth attacks and defenses, Ailey learned that this young man named Haitang Sun had excellent speed and attacking power, and he also had a snake like curved ball move called Snake Ball. It has to be said that his strength is very strong. Hiss. Haitang Sun squinted her eyes slightly and looked at me, making a snake like sound in her mouth. Senior Haitang, you're very impressive. Hueli smiled at him and slowly retreated to the bottom line. He hit the snake ball he had hit head dot on with his topspin. Although he cracked his snake ball, he still caught it and praised him for his prowess, without making a mistake. However, if he plays a blocking tennis ball and lets the ball barely pass through the net, then he cannot spin the ball again. Hueli thought this way and did the same. Sure enough, the venomous snake was like having its fangs pulled out and had no choice. 5.4, Yusuji leads. Next, both sides will exchange offensives, and this time they will attack at Haitang. Hiss. He clapped with both hands and stared at Huali. Hmm. This posture. With a powerful and fast curveball turn, it charged towards Hueli and hit her left racket. Touch, Huali's racket was hit by Haitang's serve and fell to the ground, while his left hand was slightly red and trembling. That ball is not a snake ball. Hueli looked surprised at the crabapple that hit the ball. When he picked up the racket again, he found that the net of the racket had already broken a hole, and his left wrist was slightly sore and trembling due to the previous ball. It can be imagined how strong the ball is, and my left hand is not subject to frequent training and competition. I cannot accept such a serious impact for a moment. Ailey sighed and applied to Coach Longchi to change his racket. He was about to leave the field and planned to go to his own bag to change his racket. Here, use mine, handed a red tennis racket in front of him. Ailey looked up and saw Ekazan handing his racket to him, pulling away the blue racket from his hand. Hueli glanced a few times before reaching out to take, thank you, use your right hand. Hua Li is surprised, hmm. I saw Ekazan lower his head and look at his left wrist. My left hand can't play the ball for a while, so I'll use my right hand, he said before leaving the field. Upon hearing this, Huali bit his lip and looked at his right hand, which had once made remarkable military achievements. Right hand, I also want to use it, but after hesitating for a while, Huali still held the racket in his left hand and handed it trembling to his right hand. Ekazan is right, the left hand will not be able to play the ball for a while, and if it continues to play, it may be very serious. I looked at the score inside the arena again, 30.30 if it's just one ball. It should be possible. Little 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 she has never been. Ekazan frowned as he looked at the right hand of Eri, who was slightly trembling as he held his red racket on the field. Ah, Yu Chien, Sister Huali's hands have been shaking all along. Is she okay? Tao Ching not only became worried when he saw this situation. Yu Chien Ma, after a while, looked at her determined eyes like civets, and Ben's furrowed brow eased a bit, she will definitely do it, so let's start the game again. Coach Nagasaki ordered, and the game resumed. Hiss. Then I'll serve, Haitang said, and with a powerful and powerful serve like just now, he headed straight towards Hueli. Hueli lifted his trembling right hand and stared closely at the tennis ball that came straight at him. In an instant, he felt that there was no one around him, only himself, quiet, and this ball was the key to breaking his own destiny. Touch, with the sound of Hueli hitting the ball, 
a beautiful C-dot-shaped arc swept across the field, finally landing a few centimeters out of bounds and pushing a straight line on the ground. Looking at the out-of-bounds ball in the painting, there were already some tears in my eyes, still not working. The racket in my right hand slowly landed and hit the court at some point. End of this chapter